Hello, Connections. <clears throat> Thank you for allowing me to come talk to you guys this year, 2019. Sure to enjoy meeting many, many of you down there in Destin. So what I've put together here is a review of the uh, presentation that I made going over. I made a couple of improvements for you guys since I was down there, but um, I hope you enjoy it. Go through it at your leisure. Let me see if I can make um, the screen a little bit bigger. You guys probably don't, don't need to see my face. So the whole concept was how do we cover as much about uh, content marketing, guys? And if you heard me say it a million times, it's all about uh, connecting with your audience. Absolutely connecting just like brothers got a hug. So really get, get down into it. I talked a little bit about um, this is a, uh, a salesperson that works for a customer of mine. His name is John Young. And John was a, I like to call him a natural nice guy. John is an amazing, amazing person and a really good sales guy. But, you know, prospecting wasn't necessarily very natural to him. So what we did is we worked on getting very creative on what's something we could do to, um, to get him a little more well-known, a little more comfortable getting in front of customers. So John's a uh, former golf pro. And what we did was we went and got into a bunker and John went in there and, and stepped on that ball. Like you can see in that picture right there. And he talked about how to get out of that shot. And then he stopped and he looked at the camera and he said, Hey, if you're looking to get out of trouble like this, uh, reach out to me. I'll be glad to help. And you know, what's happened. John's phone is ringing off the hook ever since then. And he makes one of these posts every single week. And he goes out and he takes about four or six or eight of these videos at a time and they work out great. So that's just right off the bat. Who is content marketing for? If you're looking to stay connected with your audience and if you're a salesperson or a company and you're very interested in incoming leads and more demand. Here's a little bit about me. Uh, I got I get, again at Connections. I was able to meet many, many, many of you. I have a extensive background in sales and a lot in this uh, commercial space. I've been with large uh, furniture dealers, lighting dealers. The average customer I deal with right now is at about sixty-seven million in annual revenue. Year-over-year -year increase is pretty solid. Um, total, I'm just over three billion of the companies I consult with. But what's more important is that. Um, I'm very, very, very committed to my family. I am uh, training for my third Ironman. And, but most importantly, I'm very, 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 um, excited to be part of this mastermind group right here. I put this in personal because it really helps me stay connected and on top of things. So I'm an, also a very avid podcast listener. So it keeps me really up to date on everything for you guys. So why content marketing? You know, I saw where the big manufacturers just stay out of touch. They're not really super passionate about trying to come up with a message that's important to their end user. Amazing, amazing products. I'm not saying anything bad about their clients, their products, because I think they're absolutely amazing. These are you know all beautiful. This is Miller and Steelcase and Knoll and Hayworth and Global, really just wonderful, wonderful companies but they're losing touch when it comes to creating value for their customers. If you go to their websites, you'll see your steel case, absolutely beautiful. But I mean, fresh for fall. Again, I know they're really good about their branding, but if I'm one of their dealers, I'm kind of like, hey, how about a, um, you know, something that gets people through a sales funnel? Sudeth, trusted for a hundred years. Not really sure where that takes us. Um, more refined combined. I like that. This is a beautiful, beautiful chair. But you know, how talking about how having space, have, having chairs like this can help you attract and retain great staff, or what about this? And what what makes this great for a um, you know a huddle space? So that's where I'm going. Coleman, again, let's get you a free quote. I joke about that, and you know, that's like walking up to a, a someone you're trying to dance with at a bar and saying, "Let's get you a kiss." And I'm kind of like. Why don't you slow down a little bit? Why don't you talk a little bit about your value proposition before you start going down that road? So the whole concept is communicate with your ideal co customer 
and solid margins. That's really where we want to go with all of our communication is how do we create an environment where we have customers that that we like and they like us and they respect the fact they want us to be in business. So they allow us to work at fair margins. So ideally, what we want is not just to have customers lined up, but customers lined up applying to work with us. And you'll see if you ever work with me on, on uh, landing pages or funnel or sales funnel pages, that's what we do. We literally create an environment. We tell customers what we do for a living, how what type of customer we absolutely like, and then we ask them to apply to see if they're a good fit. It's a really smart way of doing business, and hopefully you can get there too if you do this right. So I will tell you that I was not born a master marketer. Of course, I always thought I was, but um, if you've been struggling, it's probably why. We've done things the hard way. And you'll see some redundancies here, but you know what? We join associations, we buy ads, we have systemless networking, sales surges, right? So when you think about untrackable marketing spend, if you are intentional with your marketing and you're thinking about the end um, at the beginning and you reverse engineer it, you'll be in a really good spot. So let's go over a couple of, of stats here. And these are a lot of things that we covered down at the connection show. So um half are already planning on using content. I think that number is going up. Um, okay, so 63% don't have a documented content strategy. So if you're in the 37% um, that do have a content marketing strategy, congratulations, you're doing a really good job. Odds are you're some sort of a software company or something like that, but um, most companies don't have a content strategy and that's okay. But that's why I was invited to talk. So the, could we could talk specifically about how to develop a content strategy. Here's a cool stat sheet to have. 65%, um, it's a challenge to produce engaging content. That's okay. I mean, that's a huge majority. I don't really see that number changing a lot over the next year. Um, most people don't know how to measure the ROI. And 60% say they can't produce content consistently. I think that's probably more like 95% in our market. One thing we do know is that 70%, 72% of marketers say that the content marketing increases engagement, all right? And 78% 78 say it increases the number of leads. Those are, those are pretty good stats, guys. There's a lot of feedback that has told us that it is a genuine, genuine lead creator. Um, another great way to talk to your audience or establish, your, establish yourself as a thought leader is podcasting. Podcasting while you're listening to it is a great way to um, really understand the needs in your marketplace. But if you can get on a podcast and have your team share it, that is going to be absolute uh, content marketing gold. And the reason I say that is because the average podcast listener, their income is $250,000 or higher right now. You are talking to a lot of decision makers, very intelligent, um, information seeking uh, listeners when it comes to podcasting. So if you get a chance, you know someone on a podcast, has a podcast, literally say, hey, can I, can I get on your podcast? So let's talk about video. Right here, 72% of B2B marketers, 76% are using video. The people who use video, 66% more leads per year. And that number is going to be solid for a long time. Figure out a way to integrate video into your marketing, into your marketing campaigns. You will be a very, very, very happy company. So I'll tell you what, we talk about video a lot, but as of right now, as we're talking about this at the end of 2019, the best ROI, still good old email. And who would have thought we'd be talking about email as if it was a horse and carriage. So when it comes to the ROI, it's really a 40 to one ROI. So think about, you know, what are you doing for a drip campaign? How are you developing? What are you doing for copy? If you watch any of my videos, uh, if you're on the Swag Academy, I have uh, recently put up a video specifically about copy. You know, are you putting out intelligent copy for your customers to get calls to action? If you do that, gosh, your ROI might even be higher than that. So video helps people make decisions. It helps open rates. And 90% of customers say it actually helps them in their buying decision. So when your customers are going online looking for content, 
What are they finding? What videos are they finding out about you? They're looking for three to four before reaching out to a salesperson. What three to four videos are there about your company that you are helping to create an impression that they're formulating an opinion about you and your company? If it's not there, that's great because you get to create those. So take a second and create them and make sure they're very, a very, very, very clear message about what your value proposition is to your customers. So let's talk about the three secrets of producing engaging content, okay? So one, create video. Two, have a strategy. And three, make sure you utilizing, you know, things like the email. We're gonna go into all these here right now. So as far as doing video, you guys heard me talk about four different types, personal videos. It's a little bit sort of, we're doing a, a probably one and two right now. So a personal video would be me getting out my, um, my iPhone. I don't know if I can go back to just me here for a second, right? So if I got my handy dandy iPhone and I wanted to hop on to my phone and I wanted to get on my video and I wanted to go to video and I want to shoot on here and I had a second and I just wanted to get out my phone and go record. Hey, Don, I really appreciate you having me down to speak at Connections this year. I really look forward to being a continued value to you and your team. And thank you for uh, putting together such a, a great meeting. Look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. All right. And then I hit that. I hit forward. Put in a message. There you go. Don. D-O-N. Lipscomb. Push. Right. And I just sent it. I don't know how long that took, probably less than a minute. So personal videos are very powerful. Gratitude is insanely, insanely powerful, guys. Make sure that you're thinking about gratitude when it comes to your customers, gratitude when it comes to the opportunity to pitch something, right? Educational tour, that is a great time for you to talk about ergonomics. That is a great time for you to talk about what your installs are like. Um, the educational tour is a great way for you to show people your showroom when it comes to events. Great way. Hey, you, maybe you were at IFMA last week. Maybe you're going to, um, Neocon, anything like that. Those are great things because they establish you again as a thought leader, or at least a thought seeker when it comes to product, whether that's your product or somebody, or maybe it's even just a space that you did that you liked the way the cafe turned out. Um, it, it's really cool to shoot videos like that and share. They're fun to do. Once you start doing them and start getting good feedback, you're gonna be very happy you did. So when it comes to, tell, I'm telling you guys, videos have been getting attention for a long time, right? So when it comes to content strategy, if I sound like a smart aleck on this next section, it's because I am, right? So when it comes to mapping out strategy, number one is get a calendar, number two is fill it out, and number three is follow it. So if you were, paying attention, there we go. I'll do it one more time. Get a calendar and literally fill it out. Here's where, when I say fill it out, you know, take a second and say, hey, let's do two uh, videos a week. We're gonna do one educational and one um, one tour or you know whatever it is. We're gonna send out two videos a week or one video a week. Whatever it is, have a very clear plan and follow it. So. Um, one, and it's okay. You can, you can literally put out articles from, from Cornet or IFMA, or there's all kinds of videos you can put out that count as content marketing, but the trick is follow it. What happens is, is we get stuck in these seasons of sales, right? You, you do a great job and you sell, 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 and you, you, you do this great marketing, so you're selling super busy. And then you go four, five, six weeks, and you look up and you go, ah, oh, I haven't made a post in forever. What do I do? Well, if you go into, into next month with a clear strategy and a clear plan, you'll be way ahead of your competition. So make sure you follow it. So when it comes to these, let's go email. When you're thinking about drip campaigns, think about your database and send out a, cre a clear, clear, clear drip campaign to your audience. When it comes to YouTube, make sure you have a YouTube channel and then put the YouTube channel uh, link of your company YouTube channel in the signature of, of all of your salespeople, everything that goes out. Hey, go there and learn more about you know X, Y, and Z. If you need help on learning on how to build a YouTube channel, you can reach out to me or go to YouTube. They have great videos on how to have your own YouTube channel. All right, so 
I talked about this. If there's one thing that I, I get the nicest comments on is a sales formula, right? I do goodwill plus offers times frequency equals revenue. Okay, so goodwill, if you go specifically about what's goodwill, goodwill is everything we talked about today. It's it's creating valuable content for your customers. It's going to their golf tournaments. It's being involved in their charities. It's reaching out to them, sending them gratitude offers, right? Say you put in a video about a new chair. Hey, you know, we love talking chairs. If you want to get together and talk chairs, you know, reach out to me. Hey, we love talking ergonomics. Hey, if you want to talk more about ergonomics, please feel free to reach out to me. Multiply that times frequency. So it goes back to our marketing calendar. You know, people ask me all the time, you know, what is too much? And the answer is, you know, you'd be surprised, you know, how much you have to do to be too much. And if someone's going to turn you off and block you on one of these social platforms, they weren't going to do business with you anyway. Or maybe you didn't even want them as a customer. But wouldn't you love to consistently market and put out great content to people that go, oh my gosh, I love it when you put out this. Oh man, that was so great when you did that. Man, we can't wait to use you on a project. So that's why goodwill mixed in with very tasteful offers. Don't be, you know, crazy Eddie's house of, of pancakes, right? So your, your goodwill plus offers, tasteful offers done probably with this group three to five per week would be a reasonable uh, posting will the byproduct will be revenue so again who does it work for movers furniture logistics sales it really works for just about any type of of customer so when it comes to myths i think you saw how quickly i was able to send out that video it doesn't take too much time there is a legit roi no it's not gimmicky and if you think this fad won't last you're probably the same person who thought that color tv and the internet wasn't going to last too so um, hop on, it'll make you some money. So what we used to have to do is a lot of very traditional auto callers, direct mail, milk route sales, right? Milk route sales are very limited and very expensive for you as a customer, as a, uh, a business owner or as a salesperson. You can touch many, many, many more people. I'm not saying abandon these. I'm definitely not saying abandon. I'm telling you when it comes to marketing, which is what we're talking about, kind of what happens before the sales cycle, that's changed a lot. But when it comes to actually the sales process, it's still the same. It will always be a transfer of trust. Okay. So what we had to do was some, some things that were a little more timely and, and, and expensive, but you know what guys still go see people. I mean, if you can't tell, I love, I love talking to people. Like it is really one of my favorite things in the world to do. So, um, make sure you're still getting out and talking to people. So there is a new way, better way. So, it used to be hard, but guys, if you follow those three strategies, right, and you think about it and and reach out to me if you have any questions, because we do all kinds of fun stuff. I love doing quick calls. I think I put my number here at the end. Um, reach out for a quick call. I talked to someone from Connections out in California a little bit a little bit earlier today, right? So um, shoot me an email. I'd love to get message, connect with me on LinkedIn shoot me a messenger on LinkedIn. I respond to probably 40 or 50 messages on LinkedIn every single day. I do one and two day workshops. That's generally where I deal with my um, customers outside the Atlanta market. I've got the online academy and then I do personal coaching. But in general, where most people in this group would reach out to me, you know, this time of year, we're doing one day workshops for annual marketing and sales planning for next year. Um, or we do it, you know, just a one day plan on content marketing creation. So there's a lot of fun stuff that you guys can do to reach out to me if you want. Here's a, here's my connection page. Um, swagacademy.com is my online learning academy. You guys can get on there for free. I think it's seven days for free. Um, connect with me on LinkedIn right there on Mike Swaggart on LinkedIn. And my company site is uh, fusion-advisory.com. So if you guys have any, any, any questions at all about anything, again, you've got lots of different ways to reach out to me, shoot me an email, connect with me on LinkedIn. Glad to be of value. Again, thank you so much for letting me be a part of your group. And I look forward to seeing many of you soon. Take care.